Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your Squarespace website and convert it into a WordPress website. And while you can do this manually, the most automated way that I'm aware of at this point is to do it with a tool that 10web.io has that uses artificial intelligence to make the copy of your website and convert it from pretty much any type of website into a WordPress website. But in this case, we're going to be talking about Squarespace specifically. So if that's something you're interested in doing, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Okay, so if you're familiar with Squarespace, this is what the dashboard looks like. And I have one website here called Enviro Endeavor. So let's take a look at that real quick and see what we are working with here. So uh, yeah, it's uh, let's open this up. And this is at lcs.squarespace.com. It is a Squarespace website and we have a header up here with uh, menu options on the right and then some text, a picture, two column layout right here and a footer at the bottom with another picture. On the our team page, this is what that looks like, very simple. And then the about us page, uh, that's what that looks like. Okay, so let's see what our option is as far as migrating this to become a WordPress website. And like I said, 10web.io, I have a link in the description below if you want to take advantage of this. Um, there is a 14 day free trial at this point, no credit card required. And some of the pricing options for this start from $10 a month. If you want to host it with 10 web, you don't have to do that. It's a little bit more complicated if you want to host it somewhere else. But if you do want to go that route, there is that option. You would just need to have hosting available and install a plugin on your destination hosting platform. But the easiest solution and the solution that I'm going to show in this video today is how to take your Squarespace site and convert it into a WordPress website and host it with 10 web. Okay, so I'm going to start my 14 day free trial here. And what you're going to have to do at this point is to create an account. So uh, when this pops up, I'll go ahead and create my account and then skip pass forward. And then once you create your account, like I said, you have those two options. If you already have hosting available, you can proceed with this option on the right, download that plugin and go through those procedures. But what we're going to do is create a website on 10 web that we're going to use to clone our existing Squarespace site and move it into a WordPress website. So uh, the data center location, that's fine. I'm going to pick this one in Iowa. And then my site title is Enviro Endeavor. So I'll go ahead and create that. And this will take, you know, a minute or two to create the website. So we'll fast forward through this as well. Okay, that's done. And because we want to clone a Squarespace site and convert it to a WordPress site, we'll go with this first option here. 10 web AI builder. And this is where we're going to pick the URL of our Squarespace site and paste it into here. So let's go back over to our Squarespace site, get that URL, paste it in here. It's going to do some checks. We'll get the green checkbox. And then if you have multiple pages that you want to convert, we'll add a page. Uh, we'll get the, our team page URL, paste that in. It'll do the checks. And then one more, we'll add the about us page. So copy the URL for that paste it in, get the green checkbox. And then finally, you can click on recreate and import. All right, and a couple minutes later, as you can see here, AI Assistant recreated your website and saved you hours of manual work. Let's go ahead and click on view and edit to see what our WordPress website looks like right now. So that'll take a minute to load. And this looks fairly good. So right off the bat, I can see that um, our team and about us, these menu options are not in line with the title of the website. So we'll go ahead and fix that. The picture looks good. The column layout looks good. Uh, this picture down here, I believe we were looking at the water below the mountains. Let's double check that if we go uh, to the main page all the way at the bottom. Yeah, so we'll have to, this is the Squarespace site uh, just to be explicit. And then this is the WordPress site. Uh, so the alignment of the picture is a little off. And then the bottom down here, that looks fine too. So. Um, that is the main page. Let's look at the our team page. So yeah, right off the bat, the, the header, we're gonna have to do something with the header uh, because that's inconsistent up here. We got some gray backgrounds next to these pictures, which was not the case for the Squarespace site. This is what the Squarespace site looked like, just to remind you. Um, so we'll have to fix that as well. And then if we go to the About Us page, um, yeah, everything looks pretty good here. As a reminder, this is what the About Us page looks like 
on Squarespace. So with that, let's go to the homepage and fix some of this stuff. Like that, in my experience, the, the 10 web AI re website builder, uh, it gets you like 80 to 90% of the way there, but we will have to make some tweaks, at least in my experience, like I said, it might be different for you. Um, so let's go ahead and click on the edit with the, the builder. And if you're familiar, this is using the Elementor page builder to um, work with the layout here. So if you already have experience with that, then you're on the right track. Um, what I'm gonna do, because the header was so inconsistent across all the pages, I'm just gonna delete this completely and make my own header template. And we'll that'll open up a new page here. And what we can do is basically, it seems like there's just two elements or two, yeah, we'll say elements in this case, uh, separated on the left, we have the site title. On the right, we have the menu option. So let's make a two column layout here. And then we can come over here to the widget section and we'll do the site title. Uh, we'll pull that onto the left and then we will get uh, the site menu, the nav menu and put that on the right. Um, now that's, we only have, um, this is not the right menu. So this is a little cryptic. I'm not sure which one of these would be the right one. Uh, there's a social menu, there's that, there's, okay, our team and about us, that's what we're looking for. And what we wanna do with that is to write align it. And then for the title itself, um, this is just a quick glimpse of how you can work with the Elementor page builder. If you go to style, topography, we can make this the appropriate size. Um, and if we wanna add a little bit more spacing above it, uh, we could do that to make it so it's in line with the menu over here. So maybe like, 10 pixels surrounding it. Okay, so that's that looks good for the header. We'll update that and that should be applied across all of your pages. So we'll get out of that. Um, and what else? On here we wanted to change this picture. We wanted to change the alignment. So we'll click on this section and under style for the background, it looks like the position is custom set. So what we want is probably a center top, uh, we'll do center center and that will show us the water. So that looks much more like the original. So again, just some tweaks to make sure that uh, everything looks good. So we'll update that and let's work on the other pages. So let's go to the about page. Was there something that we wanted to change over here? Um, we'll get rid of this header. Actually we'll change. So I edited it, I edited the header zero template. So we'll apply that here. And that looks good, except for the colors. We can, I won't worry about the colors too much right now. Um, we'll, uh, that's that's fairly straightforward to edit over here. Uh, I don't wanna waste any time on that, but this looks good. And then the last page um, would be the team page. So we'll, we'll, we will get rid of this gray border. I'm not sure why that's showing up here, um, but let's uh, see how we can fix that. If we go to the style, seems like it's adding some type of color. So let's remove that completely. And it gets us most of the way there, but it still seems like there's something else going on. Um, is it a hover color? No, what could this be? A background overlay maybe? Yeah, there's a background overlay for some reason. So let's turn that off as well. Um, again, the AI, uh, website builder, it's, it gets you most of the way there. It's not perfect, but it definitely, as it says, saves you a lot of manual work. So you will have to make these tweaks just to make it as exact as it was. Um, and I'm sure over time too, that this, the, the AI will improve. So don't worry if that's, uh, it's not perfect the first time. So I just want to fix this gray overlay, background overlay. We'll get rid of that. Okay, and that looks good for that page. So we'll update that. And then let's look at the actual website. So it has this weird URL for now, but you can change that in the hosting platform. We'll compare the original to the WordPress. So uh, this one, let's go to the homepage for the Squarespace. This is the original. Uh, this is what it looks like. So we'll scroll through real quick, just to give you an idea. And then this is what the WordPress site looks like. Scroll through real quick. 
that's what it looks like. So it get it's if not 100% pretty close to there. Now the menu is a little uh, the nav menu is a little different as we pointed out, uh, but we can tweak that. I won't spend time on that, like I said. So this is the our team page. Um, Squarespace original our team page. That's what that looks like. And then the WordPress our team page. Very similar. And then I forgot to do the header on that. So let's go to the about us page. That's what the WordPress site looks like. And this is what the Squarespace About Us site looks like, page looks like. So there you have it. Um, not too bad, some tweaks along the way. Like I said, it'll get you 80 to 90% of the way there. Um, so definitely, if you need to, for whatever reason, uh, convert your Squarespace site into a WordPress site, it's worth a shot to test this out. 14 day free trial, link in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.